That is the purpose of this center. This center is not on masjid. What is the masjid? Where actually the believer submits into the sujood, into the state of frustration. Center of actually submission, where they learn submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All other things are extension, madrasa, zaviya, or khidma, the sahabi, sofa, they are extensions of this. But the masjid itself has that meaning, a center of training, so that you may become a blessed person by submission. Sajda is the peak of Islam, actually, you say. So here, people should come with the intention and they should have this intention. What? There's certain traits, certain qualities, certain attitude, certain behavior in me by which I am harming myself, I am harming my spouse, I am harming neighbors, I am harming other people, community, and even actually having a bad relationship with Allah and His Messenger and the angels and the malaika, whoever as I am in touch. If I am working somewhere, if I am at school, I am as the pupil from hell. If I am actually a somewhere student, then actually the neighbor, neighbor from hell, child, child from hell. Why? The certain behavioral attitudes and certain traits which are me that whoever comes closer after a little bit of time I start to harm them, sting them with the poison, infuse them with the poison which I have. So this is one dimension. Second is, so masjid is for this reason, to wash away to fix, to get that thing out of you. To get that thing or that trait out of you. It's no use actually that you are doing dhikr and things, but that evil still is in there. That need to be extracted. Like shaitan, he was doing sajda upon sajda, worship upon worship, dhikr upon dhikr, sky upon sky, from the heaven to one heaven, visiting one angel to the other, but the trait of Hasad and Kibar is there. And you see, at the end, it did not benefit him, rather harmed him, in a way. So, second is the, that obviously a person wants and everyone likes good qualities that this person is gentle, this person is forgiving, he is very patient, he is overlooks, he is very helpful, he is very considerate, he has clemency, he has a helpful attitude, he is forgiving, he is a giving person. This person is loved by creation and the Creator. So, second reason why you should be coming here, especially in this center in Masjid, is to install all these good traits, the good qualities, and uninstall the bad ones. That's the reason you come here. Prayer, salah, everything is practice. But if it's, this is not getting out, you are in and out, you can sit in the Kaaba for 40 days, and you will be the same little devil as at least because there have been people who have been sitting around the Kaaba and serving there, they never change. Because these are highly sacred places, Kaaba Sharif and thing, Masjid Aqsa. But remember, without a guide, until the Prophet Muhammad was not there, even in the sacred place in the Kaaba, what happened? They put idols and things. 
That's what happened. Kaaba could not save them. It was Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam who saved the Kaaba, who cleansed the Kaaba from shirk and other. Kaaba was there, Hajar al-Aswad was there, Safa Marwa was there, but shirk, bid'at, and all other evil, social evils, zina, and all those sorcery and magician and all these things, they were still there actually. So who, who, what was the difference? When did it change with the personality? With Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So personality makes a difference. In Medina to Manavra, there have been many, many rulers, many, many people living there, Munafikin living there. At one time it was used, it was uh, ruled by uh, Yazid and his governors and, and they did, but so people go now there as well, this baraka and blessing. But if the personality, when the personality was of Abu Bakr or Umar or Usman was there, it was a different thing. So now you also need a personality, representative of those people, representative of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and representing the Khulafa, Rashidin, al mahdiyin ulama Rabbaniyin, Arifin, Salihin, only then you will be able to stand. The Jal, yes, people will have Quran, people will have this, but primarily, who is going to save people from the Jal? Another person. Okay, that's the last resort, if you know how, then you, Actually, you can use Surah Al-Kahf. And if you forget that out of fear, that's gone as well. You have to have stamina, know what you are citing, what you are citing. And if you forget everything, seeing the Jals, what will you recite? So it will be a person called Sayyidina Isa Alayhi Salam and Sayyidina Imam Muhammad Mahdi who is going to actually safe. You see, it's all about personality. When first person Allah sent to was Sayyidina Adam al Islam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa the last of the messengers. After that, Khulafa. And the Prophet Islam said, May Allah have mercy upon my Khulafa, Khulafai. The Sahaba Ikram, Rizwanullah alayhi majma'in, they asked, Ya Rasulullah, who are your Khulafa? Everyone says, I am Khalifa. He said, those who practice my way, my Sunnah, and teach my Sunnah. Because they can only represent. Because the Khulafa means the represent, representative. So what did the Prophet Islam? He practiced and he conveyed, he taught. So these two things, if they are in you, the Prophet Islam said, until they have judgment, any person who will have this, they are my khulafa. Not actually just, uh, oh, I am this and I am that, and you know, you have started like self worship. In Islam, there's respect and honor, but there's not worship of personalities. The mashayikh, the ulama, they are supposed to be facilitator of your journey to Allah, bridge to connect you to Allah's Messenger and Allah's not actually themselves become the actually aims and things. Even to Anbiya al-Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that this is not befit any person, any prophet that they actually worship, they never anyone said so. So, again coming back, in this world you go to, if you have an illness in the body, what do you do? You go to a doctor, okay, he can cure or help you to cure. Cure comes from Allah Jalla Majduhu. If you want a healthy body, you go to a gym or some school, martial arts and things that are the gym. The masjid is a combination of all of these three. That it is supposed to cleanse you 
from the evil trade from shirk and tazkiya is going is supposed to equip you with the prophetic qualities the muhammadan akhlaq and then train you further to optimize and to the optimum level to highest level so that you can serve others as well because you are and myself are the umma of khatamun nabiyyin the seal of the prophets the prophet that what does khatamun nabiyyin mean one meaning is there no prophet so this means his message now we have to deliver we have a responsibility soon as you say la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam then you are responsible to convey whatever you know so know that uh, as i'm saying that the surah kahf is for that and for you as well every time our brother zafar stands up and says if you have a drug problem in privacy in privacy say and meet the teachers meet them mentor if you have fallen into lust and love of someone bad person say it can be taken out if you have fallen victim to arrogance or you are in a trouble or whatever you think in shaitanic uh, plot or thing say it it can if you have problem with alcohol say it so that the cure at least actually can be mentioned and you can be helped because they uh, help if you want something in you which you like but it's not in you you want to be a generous person you want to be a forgiving person you have anger issue you want to be tolerant but say and then actually you will it's no use you go to doctor surgery and look at each other faces and come back if you have if you go there see the doctor and say i have flu i have corona virus i have this i have this disease etc whatever and then they can suggest and they can actually help you and administer you actually this is this is the purpose of masjid zaviya madrasa because there are means there because when you go home people who you see and interact they have to face you they have to face your good whatever is good in you and whatever is bad in you as well the poor spouses the parents mothers daughters and wives and husbands and well what kind of things they have to put up with because of actually my actually action and the children and other things plus the greatest harm is that you are never able to taste life in the quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned kullu nafsin zaiqatul maut every soul shall taste what death but every soul does not taste life every soul tastes death have you tasted life no that life which we say hayat e tayyiba hayat un tayyiba the blessed life the relationship when you have a good relationship with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you cannot imagine that how your life is that's when the life is like we say in worldly term because we are worldly people oh when i was married i married to the person i like ah, that's when life began oh when i got my job my dream job that's my life began and that ends soon as well so it's actually as they say climb up and then the dip as well that is the reality of a tree dunya allah subhanahu wa ta'ala named it dunya dunya from dal noon ya lower fake is fake is deception and is a disappointing and is a lower quality thing after friday in surah kahf gives us this lesson that creation is not meant to 
massage you, comfort you. It's meant to test you. Creation. The life and death and everything which happens is supposed to see what are you made of. Hypocrisy, Iman, love, faith, and to what are you made of? What kind of Iman you have? And person is day and night we are being tested with money, with other things, with lust and all actually these things. And Allah Azza wa because He is endlessly, infinitely merciful, He gives millions of chances to everyone. Because every second, every minute is a chance. Because in one hadith it's mentioned, uh, the Prophet Islam mentioned that the tawbah is accepted of a person until his, he reached the stage of gargara. Gargara is when your spirit is about to leave you and there's kind of because it's leaving from there, from downwards, going upwards and when it reaches here, a person cannot breathe because the life is going. So he's now actually that section does not, or that part does not function and then there's a strange kind of noise comes from, sound comes from a dying person. So he Ali Islam said, until that stage, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts. Repent. This person is ill, he is near his death. So meaning, it can take one minute, two minutes. It can So know why you are here, know what is the purpose of Surah Kahaf. All of the Quran is the purpose, is tazkiyah and actually having a relationship with Allah and guidance and connecting oneself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.